Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's focus on this chapter two for uh, problem fourteen problem from the fundamental problems. Uh, express the force as a Cartesian vector. So I think I've kind of introduced that already. Um, so Cartesian. Uh, I think the book has it written like this, something like this. Okay, but just focus on writing it like this. And then depending on how your professor wants it, just do it however. Uh, Fyj, Fz, K. Okay. So here, expressive force is a Cartesian vector. Okay, so we're given the magnitude of the force, which is 500 newtons. And then, they're actually here, they're giving us the... Uh, principal coordinate angles that we've just been doing the previous uh, couple problems, all right? So here they give us um, an angle of 60 degrees with z-axis, the positive z-axis, and then an angle of 60 degrees with a negative x-axis. So, so if we're looking at alpha, beta, and gamma for the principal coordinate angles, we know gamma is going to be 60 degrees because we mentioned that the coordinate angles are measured from the positive x, y, and z axis. So this one's 60. The one with the x axis, however, is with the negative x axis. So what we can do is find this angle here, okay, with the positive x. And that's going to give us, that'll give us, um, it should be 120. 120 degrees, right? Because 120 plus 60, we get 180. All right, so we know this is 120. And then beta, well, this force doesn't seem to have any component in the y direction, okay? It seems to just be, f well, no, let's figure, let's figure out what this component will be. Um, so we know this will be inverse cosine Fy over F. Okay, so we got to figure that out. Actually. So in order to do that, we know that um, cosine alpha squared plus cosine beta squared plus cosine gamma squared equals 1. And this is taken just from the book. Okay. So if we do that squared, it should equal one. Okay. So let's see. This would be cosine 120 squared. So this is 0.25 plus, we don't know this one. And then cosine gamma squared, cosine uh, 60. So 0.25 equals 1, so cosine squared beta is 0 0.5, okay? So if we keep solving this, we get cosine beta equals 0 0.707, okay? And then we do inverse cosine of that, and then we get beta is 45 degrees all right so now we have all our coordinate direction angles so we have alpha is 120 beta is 45 degrees and then gamma is 60 degrees all right now that we now that we have all this we can simply just say okay f of x actually let's look at one of the formulas for the um, corner direction angles is the x component divided by the magnitude of the force, okay? So for each component, fx, fy, and fz, we can just take the magnitude of the force, which is 500, right? And then multiply the f over to this side, sorry. Yeah, multiply the f over to this side, which is 500, and times cosine of the principal coordinate. 
go 120 here. Cosine 45 here. And cosine 60 here. Okay. Let's put that here. Theta. Plus 45 degrees. All right, and then let's see what this gives us. 500 times cosine 120. We get minus 250 newtons. We get 250 newtons in the Z. And then something ugly in the Y. 3, 5, 3, point, let's do point 0.6. Point 0.6 newtons. All right. So these are all our components, the fx component, fy, fz. And now if we want to write it in Cartesian vector format, we can write it like this, so minus 250i, 353.6j, or 250k. But in my videos, I will be focusing on just writing it this way. My vector is minus 250i. Minus 250i. What else? Um, plus 353.6j. And then 250k. Alright. And that's it. So I guess the crux of this problem was determining using what we've already done. So according to direction angles, using some of that knowledge to find the beta, find the corn direction angle in the y direction. Okay. And um, but yeah, and then we find all the all the components, x, y, and z, and then solve for that. Alright guys, thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video.